Hello everybody, this is Dr. Sudha, naturopath, yoga practitioner, holistic uh, coach and a nutritional uh, consultant. So uh, during this time, it would be very difficult and in this unpredictable movement even to decide whether we can bring a chance of normalcy into our life. So holding on, on ourselves and trying to move uh, forward in this difficult time would be the best thing. Uh, it's very easy to talk about it, but when it comes to personal uh, things, it's very hard to you know make it more practical. So uh, today I will be talking about uh, some of the uh, exercises because because of social distancing and lockdown, uh, most of us are like uh, left back at home, and then exercise uh, becomes one of the important thing which we are not doing on 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 this everyday basis uh, so keeping our bodies from atrophying uh, because of disuse we need to start doing some of the other kind of exercises according to your um, uh, capability so i'm here to talk about 10 kinds of exercises or activity I can say about it or it can be simple body movements which you can do on a daily basis so that you know you can keep up that movement in your body and movement is such crucial uh, because you know uh, although we are staying at home in order to keep um, ourselves and prevent ourselves from the uh, infection getting spread out uh, we cannot we cannot um, risk ourselves to some of the major killers like diabetes and hypertension which arises in our world due to a sedentary lifestyle so some sort of movement and some sort of exercise becomes very crucial and I want you to really think about which are the moves and which are the activities which can suit you and I want you to uh, practice and let me know your uh, views and ideas how it's working and which exercise you feel more comfortable please comment on the below section so let's talk about uh, 10 kinds of exercises which I feel uh, I can do at home and I feel that all of us can do at home so the first one would be uh, the jump rope so I know it sounds like the little kids or the elementary school activity uh, but let me tell you one minute of jumping rope can really bring that uh, a cardio workout in your body and then it can you know make your heart rate go high um, that's the main intention so we don't have to you know extend the uh, time like uh, longer it can be like one or two minutes of these activities in between like in a gap of one hour would be would, would be idle rather than just sitting on the sofa or like uh, not doing anything and you know not keeping that movement in your body so that would be the first thing the second would be stair stepping like uh, so if you have some staircase in your home it's actually very good climbing up the stairs and getting down is itself like a big exercise but if you don't have stairs available I would suggest you that you can bring some big blocks uh, of wood or uh, a small stool and then you know you just make that one step one step going up and one step coming out then so continue doing that like at least five minutes to ten minutes would be like uh, um, it's not it's not going to make you sweat like you do the jump rope but then it can keep your body active and healthy okay so coming to the third the third would be the plank so everybody wants to do some plank and push up would no, push up is not actually um, you know uh, very easy for some of the people so just holding yourself in the plank like for 30 seconds itself can help you improve that core muscle so every day you can target to increase 10 seconds of the uh, plank can can be like a challenge and uh, it would be the best core exercise what you can do on a on a daily basis so the fourth would be dancing. So so when we were uh, in college, we would love to do a lot of dancing of different different types and everything, right? So uh, it would be nice, like you know, if you can uh, get some interest on something like music and dance to your heart content. So it's an excellent way to burn calories and it's an excellent way to uh, improve your cardiac functions. So if you have your own privacy of your home, then you don't have to really. Uh, worry on your moves or anything so just put on the music and just go so the fourth would be like lunges so again lunges are actually very good for your hips and your knees and all the lower part of your body so uh, if you uh, you know you don't have to really 
um, stay back in your lunge and hold you can even walk from your bedroom to the kitchen kitchen to your hallway and you know make those legs work out so whenever you go from one room to other room uh, so just to make it like a challenge or just just to make it like a game trust try to do the lunges so that you know you have that movement you have that uh, workout happening in your lower leg so the sixth would be cleaning the house what else do you want apart from cleaning the house it can be actually very physical especially uh, if you are using the traditional way of mopping uh, and brooming the house uh, like um, you know the traditional way of mopping would be like uh, getting a bucket of water dip the uh, the uh, the cloth and you know sitting in the squatted position and cleaning up your house would be an excellent exercise especially for your hip and as well as for your legs so if you can like clean up your house one time a day practicing the traditional way you can say that itself is like a very good exercise and also you are disinfecting or cleaning up your house so you know again healthy for your uh, healthy in, in a way to clear up from the germs and bacteria then the next would be a uh, bottle water weights like you can fill the bottles with uh, water and use it in the form of weights so this is again very good for people who wants to who are looking for arm shoulder and back back strength and strength training so fill up the bottles according to the uh, weight you can carry so the the bottles can be small 1 liter 2 liter or or 6 liter whatever you are able to and then you know try to you know uh, lift up you know raising your hands upwards or maybe just on your biceps or you know you can tailor the exercise according to your level for a greater challenge you can increase the amount of water little by little each time you work out so this would be uh, uh, this would be one of the method so the next would be the high knees so actually i i used to love running in the outdoors but uh, because of um, you know the current situation i am you know trying to run in my own home so trying to run in your home or in one static place uh, doesn't make you feel sweaty or doesn't make you feel um, that you know that hype so uh, i i found this technique like rising your knee up to your level of your hip you know when you're when you're static and running try to rise your knee up rather than you know trying trying to keep it low it you can feel that it can really pump up and it can you know increase your um, your heart rate and you know you can feel that that uh, stretch that's happening in your legs and it's it's like a wonderful exercise which you can like do for one or two minutes so then the ninth would be jumping jacks again this is like the elementary school workout and it's a great cardio so if you are watching tv whenever there's commercial you just do 10 rounds of jumping jack or you know go around and in between breaks just do that so again that would that's something which is very good so uh, then the last would be youtube workouts so recently i was at, i was attracted to the zumba dancing classes for beginners because i wanted to always do something of that sort and you know uh, I, the time was very crucial and i couldn't do it so now i'm like looking into these beginner classes and and i found some really amazing videos which you can look and follow and like it's a 10 minutes to 15 minutes workout just to make you you know feel that warmth or feel that uh, sweatiness sweatiness in your skin so so just go look at the youtube there's lots of very simple workouts and try to find out what is uh, what attracts you what makes you feel happy if it's without music or with music of course and i cannot forget about yoga yoga and sun salutations also would be a very uh, very fantastic uh, exercise which you can do it like even like when you're doing the sun salutations when you do the fast round without a break can also be more like a powerful cardio uh, cardio practice so just uh, see which which suits you and what you are more comfortable in and let me know what's your schedule and what 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 are the things which which you could find helpful in this video or is there any new thing or any new exercises which you incorporated please let me know about it. i'm glad to hear i want to hear more about it thank you very much and see you next time